That's the boy. That's what you call a grounder. Now get ready for a high one. weather we're having, Sheriff. It's a great pity to have to stay indoors. Especially with the windows closed. That's bad. Yes. The game is called baseball. It was invented by Alexander Cartwright and Colonel Doubleday. So maybe I should hold them responsible for breaking my windows. I'll pay for it, Mr. Garrett. You'll do no such thing. It was entirely my fault. I'll replace the glass. I'll have to live in my conscience, too. Won't be necessary, Padre. I've been trying to get it open all summer. I understand you have a wedding schedule for this afternoon. Yes, one o'clock. Maria and Felipe. Dominus Vobiscum, I'm already three minutes late for the Angelus. Will I see you at the wedding, Sheriff? I wouldn't miss it for anything, Padre. Come on, Danny, you can help ring the bell. Danny! What do you want? Be good, Padre, and you won't get hurt. We're taking a little trip. Get over here, kid. Next comes banking, of course. <laughs> Married is the pretty girl you have here. Morning, Sheriff. Morning, Target. Big day for him, huh? Yes, yes, yes. <coughs> Still time to change your mind, Felipe. Maria here ain't uh, got a brand on you yet. <laughs> oh, no, you're a lucky hombre. What do you say, Patrick? Really? Well, you gotta hand it to Padre. Ever since he came to Lincoln, there's been a lot more weddings and funerals. Really, have you seen him around anywhere? No, I ain't, but you know the Padre. He's probably down the road somewhere visiting somebody down with a pip. He'll be here in a minute. It's not like him to be late for anything. Mr. Garrett! Hey, what happened? He said to give you this. He said he killed the Padre. What are you talking about, Danny? Who said he'd kill a partner? Here you go, Danny. Drink this. You say he had two horses? Yeah. Where he left the wagon. About a mile out of town. Told me to start walking back. And said if I gave that note to anyone but you, he'd kill the Padre. We're wasting valuable time here, Patrick. Danny, had you ever seen this man before? No. Look, why are you talking? I'm going to round up some men. A few people know he's been kidnapped better. Yeah, well, what are you going to tell him over here at the church? You're going to tell him. Tell him the Padre's been called out of town suddenly. No sense of breaking the news until I find out how bad it is. 
You planning on going alone? That's what the instructions say. I gotta follow them. It never occurred to you this could be a trap, Patrick? Maybe it's uh, maybe it's you he's after. Well, if he is, he's gonna find me. I'm not alone. Really, do I have to lock you up to keep you out of this? Sit still. Where's the padre? He's safe. A little mussed up, but alive. First churchman I ever saw with guts enough to jump a man with a gun. Which proves you've never met many men of the cloth. What are you after? Money. I want lots of money. Fifty thousand dollars. $50,000. Nobody in Lincoln's got that kind of money. There's more than that in your bank. And if all the Padre's friends get together... Why the Padre? Because he's got more friends in Lincoln than anybody else. Friends who'll hunt you down if anything happens to him. I ain't worried. Now, you get that money this afternoon. And you'll be back with it before 5 o'clock right here. And don't get any ideas, Garrett. Anything happens to me, and only the buzzards will find where I got the Padre. I'll be back. Sure you will, Garrett. Is you all right, Mr. Garrett? Yes, I'm going to draw your teeth, Patrick. He's a dangerous rattler and harder to reason with. He'll kill the Padre if I don't bring $50,000 to Stone Canyon by 5 o'clock. Loco. That's the trouble, I'm afraid he is. Take it easy, Billy. Padre's a friend of mine. Mine too, but this is a problem for the whole town. I've called a meeting at the bank in half an hour. Get everybody there. You think you really killed the Padre? time to get word to everyone, but time is running out for the Padre. It's a case of his life against your money. Now, I'll give it to you straight. I don't know for sure that the Padre is still alive. I can't guarantee that by paying the ransom, we'll get him back. And I cannot promise to recover your money if the ransom is paid. Mr. Garrett, saved up $11 to live on groceries. Thank you, Denny. Folks, I wish raising the ransom money was as simple as all that. What's the matter? Ain't the bank got 50000 Of course it has, but I, I just can't turn it over. Why not? Everybody here is willing. Well, it's not as simple as all that. There are laws governing banking. You understand my position, don't you, Mr. Garrett? Yeah. Most of our big depositors live out of town. Now, if they agreed... Mr. Harkins, will you keep the bank open if we can round up the rest of them? Well, certainly I will. Good. Billy, you get Tundle. Some of the rest of you ride out to Blackhorn, Harvey, and Travis. Come on, Danny. You're gonna run out of time, Patrick. Billy, there isn't any other way. Mr. Harkins? Yeah, Billy, you want something? Yeah, I, uh... I just thought of another way. Yeah, what's that? I want that 50,000 now. You've been a 
Go tell the sheriff that Mr. Hawkins got himself locked in his own bank. All right, all right, all right. Take it easy. Hold it. Sir Garrett. Hawkins, what happened? It was Billy. He stole the money. He's gone after the Padre. to Garrett. Couldn't make it. I brought your money. You throw it down on the ground and clear out. Where's the Padre? I'll turn him loose. I dropped the money. Not until I see the Padre. You're in no position to bargain. You do like I said. You've got just one second. You kill me, you'll never see that money. Step down. Back up. Where's the money? Safe from any tricks. Show me the Padre and you'll get it. How do I even know you got the money? There's the rappers that came in. Padre ain't been hurt yet. But that's no sign he won't be. And you're gonna make me believe you ain't already killed him. Grab your hands and back your neck. Turn around. All right, get moving. I'll tell you where to go. Padre. My own fault. I'm not as fast on my feet as I used to be. Why did you come? Well, some of your friends got up a little collection to bring you back, Padre. I made sure it got here. Alone? Well, I 
I figured I'd make as good a messenger as anybody else. How much? Fifty thousand dollars. Fifty? I don't know what to say. To think they thought that much. Oh, Bill, it was a mistake to come here. He'll never let us go. Well, maybe he won't have any choice in the matter, Padre. Pat Garrett and half the men in Lincoln are going to be after him. I'll take my chances. All right, you've seen him. Now, where's the money? You uh, turn the Padre here loose and I'll uh, take you to the money. Uh-huh. I'm through fooling with you. You come up with that money, you're going to take him back to Lincoln dead. Yeah, well, I guess I ain't got no choice in the matter. No, Billy, I can't let you kill for me. I ought to kill you for that. <coughs> sure you ain't fooling about the Padre. Don't. You stay right there. The second peril will be for you. Go ahead, Padre. Pray for yourself. You need it. I was praying for you. Praying for me? Don't lie to me, Padre. I was not lying. <sighs> you can kiss that 50,000 goodbye now. <sighs> you turn the pot with me loose now. You still have time. Shut up! Get over by the pot, Ray. You get the chain off. Padre's my ticket out of here. You tell that posse to stay back in plain sight. They try to stop me, I'll blow his head off. Come on, Padre. Get up. Come on. I can't let him get away. Well, what else we're going to do? We let him kill the Padre. What'd you do with the money? I tried a trick. Didn't work. We can talk about that later. Once he gets over that ridge, you probably kill the Padre anyway. That's rough country over there. Plenty of places for him to hide out where we'll never find him. I say we rush him now. No, not while there's a chance to save the Padre. What chance is there? Better than a thousand yards from here, Patrick. Well, that's impossible, Garrett. You'll never be able to hit him from this distance. We're wasting time. I say let's go after him. You're gonna have to kill him with the first shot, Patrick. There ain't gonna be time for another. Right, Billy? Yeah. Real gentle. Don't miss, Patrick. Whatever you do, boy, don't miss.
using the Padre for cover. I've got to wait for a clear shot at him. Like this in a hundred years, Patrick. Come on, Billy, where is it? Uh, well, now let me see if I can recollect where. Uh... You'll have plenty of time to recollect in jail. Now dig up that money. You're in that badge of yours, Patrick. You, you, you're going to be the death of me yet, boy. I hope not, Billy. It's uh, right under the rock, right there. And I'll just ride along the Lincoln with you to make sure you don't weaken on the way. safe and sound. Maria. Well, I heard when you didn't show up for the wedding last week, uh, Felipe got cold feet. She had to start all over again, talking him into getting hitched. <laughs> Perhaps that's what we should find for Billy. A nice, persuasive girl to settle him down. It's a good idea, Padre. If you find the girl, I'll even volunteer to be best man. Yeah, well, thank you anyway, Patrick, but I think uh, married and buried sound too much alike for me. Padre, you work on him. I've got business waiting for me at the office. Listen to him, Billy. He might find a way to keep you out of trouble. Marriage will do that, Billy. Yeah, well, you gotta find the right gal first, Padre. I see you with a lot of girls. That is Sara, Rosita, Alan, Margarita, Samantha, Rita. Yeah, well, I reckon the trouble is I just can't pick between them. Padre! You said you'd show me more about baseball today. Well, first, I've got to change. Perhaps Billy will help you until I'm ready. No, no, I don't, I don't know anything about, uh, uh, what you call it? Baseball. Then perhaps you should learn. Maybe that'll keep you out of trouble. Here, you hold the bat like this. That's right. And then what do you do with it? You hit at the ball. Go over there. Then he comes. I think he'd strike a man on the cloth, but if I were you too, I'd run like a... everything. 